will step up to our next class, Shamil Bonarov representing Russia and Jared Freyer representing Team USA. This is at 66 kilos, 145.5 pounds. This is an interesting matchup from the standpoint that Jared Freyer is 28 years old now. He's been he's been at this for a while, and he's had some successes. He's kind of moved along up the ladder as he's gotten older, and he's facing a 21-year-old in the Russian, and this Russian is really just starting to come into his own. He's 21. He was a world junior champion two years ago, and now he's now he's moving up into the. Uh, the big boys, the the older men. Yeah, if you look at the accomplishments for the Russian, everything you see says junior in front of it. So uh, you don't see those 2005 U.S. World Team trials. You know, third is where Jared Freyer finished. You know, he has a bunch of that stuff at being a seasoned wrestler. But you're right, a youngster here for Russia. We'll find out how he does against a wrestler with a lot more experience. Well, he's picked up the first points here. He he got in nice on those legs and rocked them up on towards his shoulder. So he he's gotten the first two points. Yeah, Jared was a NCAA runner-up uh, back in 2001 at University of Oklahoma. So he's been at this game for a while. Actually was born in Miami. Currently an assistant coach at Harvard University. Yeah, he's part of a nice coaching staff at Harvard University. They've done a good job building that program back up. And, in fact, they had a one of their assistant coaches is Jesse Jansen, who was Harvard's first NCAA champion a few years ago first champion in about 80 years, so they've got a nice young group of assistant coaches there. Oh, boy, that, Jared just about lost his balance on that, but he's got to, you know, he's got to take some risks now because at this point, down two to nothing, it, it doesn't matter if he gives up any more points because it only counts for this first period, so he really needs to get aggressive here if he's got a chance of taking a lead in this match. Team USA ranking for Freyer is number two. Has been on the U.S. team for two years now. Well, our Russian wrestler has... <laughs> he knows exactly how to block for the last few seconds of a period when he has a lead. He's backing up. He has his head buried, and he's keeping the arms tied up, and he did exactly what he needed to do to protect that lead. Here's where he got his points. He got in nice on that leg. He rocked him up onto his shoulders, and that was the two points. It happens very quickly as we continue on here. Once again, the 66 kilo class. Yeah, the youngster from Russia, oh, he actually looks a little fatigued already, which is kind of surprising since they've only gone two minutes. But you've learned, that if nothing else, from the Russians that they can be, they can be sneaky because sometimes they can look tired and... And they're hanging back. And oh, oh, oh. oh, boy, that was a... Oh, he almost... Jared almost got a tip on the Russian wrestler. He, he just... He bailed out of that just in time. And the Russian wrestler's coming around. Well, we got a, we got an important scramble here coming right now. Jared needs the points, but it looks like the Russian wrestler is pushing him off the mat. Yep. Oh, man. That so was a, one point again to the Russian wrestler for pushing him off the mat. And you're exactly right. I mean, it was just really a battle of of aggressiveness there, one countering, one trying to take advantage of it, and it ends up going the Russians' way. Yeah, Jared almost got around behind him, and at the very last minute, the Russian wrestler snagged the heel with his left hand and basically just just bumped him out of bounds with about four or five body shots while he's holding up that heel. That was a very shrewd move on the on the young wrestlers, Russian's part. So he may only be 21, but... He doesn't wrestle like he's 20. He knows the game well, doesn't he? Absolutely. Are they going to wipe him off, get some of that sweat off of him? But I say they can be sneaky. They can, Sometimes they look tired and they, you know, you're know, you wondering how they're going to get any energy to finish the mat. And then, boom, they just nail you with a move. You're right. He does look lethargic there. As Referee blows the whistle, but obviously is is very quick. Yeah, it's at age 21, they may be bringing him along on this to this tournament later later this month. They may be bringing him along as a developmental program, but having won the World Junior Tournament a couple of years ago, that's no small accomplishment. Both guys looking for that magical advantage, if you will, just a little bit of leverage. Well, at this point, Jared Frayer has to throw 
whatever he's got. It doesn't matter if he gets caught with it or caught on his back or if he loses points. It just doesn't matter. He has to win this period. And he's down one to nothing right now. So if he's got any kind of a throw, he better be trying it, even if he doesn't have it secured as tightly as he'd like. But again, this Russian is doing a nice job of... Oh, there, oh here's, here we've got a scramble situation. Jared has to come out on top here. Look at him work that arm, that shoulder, way over there. And now the Russian actually able to grab an ankle and hang on here to block it. He just needs to lift that up in the air. Oh, boy, I don't know who got what there. It looks like it went both ways. Did he earn point? Did, he, did he get points on both sides? He might have. We rolled across our shoulders, but we took the Russian across his. We're going to have to wait and see. Yeah, we're going to a video review. <laughs> we get to have the Russian judge uh, debate with the uh, with the American judge. We just saw. Uh, we just had a shot of Wayne Watson sitting in the stands. He's the chancellor of the city colleges of Chicago. It looks like they're trying to keep the wrestler loose there. I wouldn't think he'd be cramping up here at this particular point. You know, I'll take this. I'll take this opportunity to plug the city colleges a little bit. They they had a picture of Wayne Watson. He actually wrestled at Northwestern many years ago, and uh, I won't say how many. He might get mad at me, but uh, <laughs> he's a great guy, and uh, I'm glad he can be here tonight to watch the action. And after the review, it looks like the two points is going to go to the American. He certainly thinks so, and there it is. It's two to one. And favor of Fryer, so he takes that second period and we go to the third. So, does this young wrestler from Russia have the juice? Does he have the energy to go a third period and get some points scored here? I will tell you, man, as the coaches were shaking his legs around, trying to keep him loose, trying to keep his muscles loose, he just, you said it before, he just looks like he's completely wore out. Okay, so we have to debate here. Do we have a, a tired 21-year-old or do we have another up-and-coming, what I called, sneaky Russian, where they look tired and they're just lulling you into sleep before they pop you, with, pop you with one. He's certainly done a great job. I mean, for 21 years of age, he's done a great job to this point, no question. They are, the Russians have always been so good as tactical wrestlers that you just can't, you can't draw any conclusions from their body language because you just don't know if they're lulling you or not. Jared Freyer trying to hang on here. If he can win this third period, he will win the match. Okay, he's been told not to grasp fingers, or at least not individual fingers. If you take the hand, you've got to grab all four fingers. Okay, we've got about a minute left to determine the winner in this match. Each has won two periods, and we're still scoreless in the third period. Oh, a quick shot right there. Oh, it looks like he got the ankle. Oh, he's in deep. He's in. Well, that's at least one point, maybe two, but at least one. The lethargic actions out of the Russian, as you mentioned before, is just so deceiving, and all of a sudden he fires a shot like that. Yeah, he's... <laughs> and he's just where he wanted to be and decided when he wanted to go. Okay, we've got 30 seconds to tie this or win this match. Well, he's got to let it all hang out. I'm gonna, I'm gonna guess he's still, in, he's in pretty good shape, conditioning-wise. But he's gonna have to break out of there. He, he can't let that Russian stay on an underhook because he'll just, he'll block him off. Right here, he's got to make it happen. Just a handful of seconds left in this he's match. Got to throw. Well, the Russian did a good job not getting his back exposed. Fryer did a nice job with a desperation move, and the Russian did a nice job fending it off. The win. Again, we'll go to the Russians. Shamil Badarov will get this win here at 66 kilos. Here's that last takedown. He got in really deep, lifted it up high and nice to where that American...